Happy Free Agent Day, everybody. We're starting things off with a trade because that is, you know, what you wanted to see on Free Agency Day. It's a one-for-one -one trade here. Eric Haula from the Boston Bruins heading over to the New Jersey Devils in exchange for Pavel Zaka. Now, as you can see by all the replies, everybody's like, oh, late, 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 Darren Dreger, man, it's late. Wow, thanks, Darren Dreger. It's actually kind of funny because he had the first scoop on this as well before getting the full return details in there, but it's a one-for-one -one trade over here between the Devils and the Bruins. Eric Haula is a better player than Pavel Zaka right now. He is older, and he has a year left on his contract at 31 years old, making $2.375 million a season. This is an improvement for the New Jersey Devils. This is a player who had himself, what's the number right here, 44 points in 78 games played, 18 goals, 26 assists as well for the Boston Bruins. He also performed pretty all right for the Nashville Predators, and the Vegas Golden Knights is where he had his best season, getting 55 points in their inaugural campaign. He was a part of that very good squad that went to the Stanley Cup Finals. He also had 9 points in 20 games as they went to those Stanley Cup finals, but Eric Haula is a more experienced, more veteran-esque player than the return coming over the Boston over here. It's Pavel Zaka, a guy who definitely has not panned out in the way that a lot of Devils fans have wanted to over the past few years after being drafted 6th overall in 2015. Now, that 2015 draft, as we all kind of know, was stacked. You take a look at some of the names that were taken after Pavel Zaka. You have Provorov, Warinsky, Meyer, Rontanen, all taken immediately after. Lawson Krauss is no bum. He was taken taken here as well. Gurianov, Zaboral, okay, we're kind of entering what-the-heck territory, but then it gets even better with Barzal, Connor, Shabbat, Svechnikov, okay, maybe not Svechnikov, but Colin White, Samsonov, Brock Besser, Travis Konechny, Roslovic, lots of really good names over here, and Zaka was taken ahead of all of them. You can kind of see the point production here on the side. Zaka had 179 points. A lot of these other guys had way more than that. So Zaka, definitely not the best pickup in this spot, but there was a little bit of a revival of his career that a lot of Devils fans were hoping to see grow upon after he made the NHL right away in 2015-16, playing one game. Either way, though, with Pavel Zaka... His development has not really been the best. I mean, this season he had himself 36 points in 70 games played, which is not bad, but I mean, the guy is 25 years old, so he definitely is kind of entering that quote-unquote prime territory. Plus, the Boston Bruins don't really have too much youth in their roster anyways, so getting a guy like this that they can actually develop and hopefully allow to prosper within their organization at the price of an Eric Haula, who is just a tad better when it comes to cold hard point production, it is a pretty good sign for them. You have yourselves Eric Haula here, or excuse me, Pavel Zaka, whose career high was 36 points. It was this recent season, so you want to see him grow and actually expand upon that. But for a lot of New Jersey Devils fans, I think it's safe to say that this player definitely is not really on that upward curve that you would have expected. And so getting a player like Haula in return, who can actually produce and who is a proven point producer, could be a nice little stopgap before you have other players break onto your team that are developing in the system so far. So I'm going to go because we have ourselves some more trades, some more free agency news to announce. But this trade right here, one for one, Hala for Zaka. Talk to the comments on your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.